Yeah, we of course uh, in and out of Oslo is uh, limited uh, potential, uh, but uh, as an example, out of London is a huge potential, and it's much easier for us now uh, because we have a lot of long haul flights, especially out of London. So uh, we will also get uh, not only the direct traffic but also the feeding traffic, and and we also work with EasyJet, and that means that we have a huge network that we can feed uh, people into. I mean, uh, in some areas of the world, uh, uh, low cost have uh, grown up to more than 50% of the total traffic. So, uh, and uh, uh, low cost of operators, uh, they are growing uh, much faster than the legacy carriers. So, obviously, uh, there is a potential because um, uh, there is, uh, uh, without no, no doubt, uh, Russia is underserved. It's, uh, it's a little bit like uh, Scandinavia um, some years back. Uh, is way too high fares. So you have to have uh, lower fares and uh, rather have people and uh, more people to travel. It should be affordable for everybody. Well, it, it's a, if it's too many restrictions in the country, you take away a lot of jobs yeah, because uh, Travel industry is, uh, and tourism is uh, vital for for, uh, yeah, for mo most countries' economy. And, uh, and uh, the more people you tra will have traveling into a country, the more tourists you will have, the more jobs it will create, the more value it will uh, will uh, create in the country. So that's why you should, want, because the, most of the jobs are not created up in the air; they are creating. Uh, created in the hotels, restaurants and so on. So that's why it's very important. Argentina is hugely underserved, especially of low-cost carrier. There are no low-cost carrier in Argentina. So that's, uh, that's the obvious reason and it's a it's a close to 45 million people living there and it's a huge country so they definitely need uh, um, uh, to travel by air and, and uh, it's way too high costly to uh, travel by, uh, by uh, airplanes in, in Argentina. I would like to do that because I see a huge potential here in uh, in uh, Russia. In uh, like, uh, of course, you have one uh, at least one player that's uh, very good, but it's uh, it uh, um, it should be a, a lot of uh, low cost uh, opportunities here in uh, in uh, Russia today. Uh, without this uh, st stimulating this traffic, you. You, they will bypass uh, actually Russia. They will fly to other parts of the world. They will uh, you give away the traffic to uh, uh, to Middle East, or you give it away to China or to to uh, other places. So uh, why not create it within uh, Russia? It's just uh, an idea, but uh, obviously we are ready to uh, to look into it if we get the possibility to do it. I think uh, this is uh, very important and, uh, and uh, Russia is uh, very important uh, for uh, the whole uh, European airline industry. So uh, I didn't have, uh, I had a collision with uh, something else uh, last time, but, uh, but uh, no, I, uh, this was a priority. It's, it's a very good event and I, uh, you meet a lot of uh, people and it's, uh, the speeches are also very interesting.